Is your is your number retired by your little league? Have they recognized yeah. you? What? Yeah, they actually did. What they, they did. retired your number? Yeah. How, how do you even do that in little league? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I ended up going uh I think two years ago and throwing out the first pitch. And uh That's they, great. they gave me the jersey and, and you know, I said hi to all the kids, gave them a little speech and it was a good time, man. In the studio, Matt Joyce, uh, Tampa Bay Ray, uh, who's also going to be at Next Big Thing this weekend. Oh, yeah. hey, come to find out, the first time we put him on the air over the uh, summer, just wanted to chat with one of the Rays. I mean, they're making a run at it. They're in New York. We talked to this guy, Matt Joyce, who's a local guy. And the first thing he says when he gets on the air is, oh, I grew up listening to you guys. Yeah. It made, made us uh, feel a little bit. Even <laughs> Seth. Who is only a couple years older than you? <laughs> yeah, you, twenty-eight. You, you made him feel a little bit old that yeah. day. No, no, don't feel old, man. It's uh, it's a pleasure listening to you guys. And and I mean, how long have you been on the air? At ten years? Yeah, or so? ten so, years. That'll be ten so, years. Yeah, I've been listening. You know, seven, eight years. And uh, man, you guys are are the best. I well, keep it coming. I don't have any more questions. <laughs> just, just, just keep coming with the accolades. There. All right, here's my here's my question. Your your walk up song last year was at Lincoln Park. Is that it's what you Lincoln picked? Lincoln Park, Paper Cut. How important is a walk up song to you? Are you already thinking about what you're going to use for next year? I am. I was actually going to ask you guys about that. I really? Wanted, I, I wanted to know if you wanted to do a little thing to where maybe we pick out a couple songs, have the people vote on it. Maybe maybe do I'm, something little like that. That's I'm, what we want. What do you, you want to do? About some... Right around spring training. Yeah. How about okay. around, right around spring training? We'll uh, coordinate a schedule with you know something that works oh, out with you. He's never coming in back in here again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. We'll we'll bring you back in here. We'll go through. We'll pick out a couple of songs. You go ahead and pick out a couple of songs. We'll put them up on the web. We'll let the uh, listeners vote on them. Okay. And uh, and go from there. I think that'd be a good time. Oh, was it last year? BJ Upton used one of our songs. or Was that two years ago now? Uh, no. Last year, BJ year? Upton came in here and we we picked some of his uh, favorite rap music. And I, I think he actually used some of the songs that we picked out for Did him. He? Nah. I don't. I don't know. He, he, he used one, I think, somewhere along the lines, but it was too little too late. Yeah. you got to stick with it from the very beginning. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Or, or you don't get the mojo from it. Exactly. But Seth asks, he goes, how important is that walk-up song? Does it really get you when... when, when like, you, are you even listening when you go up there? Is it something for the yeah. fans or is it for you? Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's tough because you want to have something that the fans enjoy. Um, but at the same time, you got to have your own little, you know, your own little mojo right, right. there. So if, if something works for you, you know, Evan found his song and it just worked for him over the years, so he's stuck with it. Um, but I think it's got to get you something that that gets you focused, locked in. And he in. uses tantric or something. Yeah, like yeah. That. yeah. yeah tantric. It's, it's it's pretty good. And you, good and, and what about uh, Ben Zobra's wife? You want to use any of her music? Or <laughs> <is> it... <laughs> I was thinking about it. <laughs> Maybe you can get out there and sing for me, huh? <laughs> hey, l- let me know what you need from me. I'm there yeah. for you, Matt. Now, here's what I want to know, Matt. What is your go-to excuse at a game when someone wants your autograph, but but you can't do it, you don't want to do it, or you don't have any time? Is the go-to excuse I'll get you after the game? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll come back. I'll come back to you. Uh, of course. <laughs> and you know, it's not it's not on purpose that you don't come back, but but a lot of times you get a little busy and uh you know the game starts and and you have your mind elsewhere so yeah yeah you, you leave a little a couple people hanging which you don't mean to did hey. you ever get stiff by anybody growing up did you ever ask anybody for an autograph and they said no or i'll get you later or anything like that um i think uh i think a couple guys did you know i think that was a big um a who big was standard. It? Who was it that screwed you? Dave Martinez. Dave, Dave Martinez. Dave, did he? Yeah. <laughs> Davey? Screw Davey. That's hilarious. Yeah, I was, I'm a big White Sox fan, and they were a spring when he played for the White Sox, and they were spring training. It was after the game. It was at Legends Field. When the so White that's Sox what the question about. It's, it's personal. Yeah, right. it's absolutely personal. Yeah. And <laughs> were I just, you 12, 14? Yeah, and I just said, hey, I said, Davey, can I have your autograph? And uh, he said... No. He looked at me and said no. <laughs> so I hate him to this day. I just didn't know if you had that experience with anybody. <laughs> That's awesome. No, I, I haven't hit anything like that. Um, you know, a couple of the guys. Are, I, actually, we never had good enough seats to be close enough to the players. We were always up in, in nosebleed or, or middle, somewhere in the middle. But, you know, I remember being right before the game and asking for somebody for an autograph. and be like, all right, I'll be right back. And he ended up throwing a catch and running in. Of so, course. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I mean, it, it is what it is. All right, Matt Joyce in studio from the uh, Rays. Can we talk baseball for just a real quick sure, second? Sure, love right, to. Now that we're a month or so, re- two months removed from the season, yep. uh, what what happened? <laughs> Jeez, man. Fish. What just happened just there, throw man? it out there. Just throw it out there. What happened? No, no, absolutely. Cliff uh, Lee happened, Fish. Exactly. Cliff Lee did happen, you know, and, and he won the first game and he won the last game. And, and he was, he's unbelievable. He's one of the best pitchers in the league. So, uh, you know, we lost the first two games. and, and uh, But the race the race seemed to be kind of, um, I don't know, sputtering there towards the end before, right? Right. You know, in September as well. Well, it's, it's funny. The playoffs is all about who gets hot at the right time. And that's just and, what it was. And, you guys were hot at the know, wrong times of the like, year? Yeah, it was like, uh, I think right after the series, the, the, our best series was against the Yankees. And and they were all like one run games, and and it just seemed. You talking like, about that last series when we the talked last to you? series with the yeah right there. Um, I think it was then, and then when we went back home, those two series against the Yankees, man, 
after that, it just kind of seemed like the electricity died and, and uh, we were kind of running on fumes. But I don't know what happened. We had a great team, and, and we definitely should have went farther. But uh, but we were, you know, American League East champs. How much attention? Hey, yeah, that's yeah, not you gotta too take, shabby. You got to take something out How much it. attention do you pay to uh, all the offseason moves? Are you watching the MLB Network, seeing all the hot stove rumors? Are you not paying any attention to that at all? No, I don't watch it like a hawk. Uh, I, I hear all the, all the stories, and, um, you know, uh, a lot of them you, you – you comment on or, or you think about, but um, there's going to be a lot of moves in the off season, and, and you generally don't know all the moves until you go to spring training. and You're like, oh, I didn't know he was playing for them. You know, <laughs> I didn't so. know he was playing for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, he's taking my job. Oh god. <laughs>